Okay, so today I'm also making up some bouquets, get them ready for the weekend sale. Uh, and kind of want to show y'all what I've been working on. Um, so I had a friend reach out, uh, her niece is having a dance recital and she wants to give a bouquet of flowers. So I decided to make up or buy some, buy some filler stuff in and, and, uh, uh, start making up a few bouquets. Um, so what I have is like this, this is bulrush. It's just from the farm. Uh, it's a nice little green spiky plant. Um, and all I, all I did was just go over to a patch and just snip some off. These were in the woods, so they're super, super long. They're about 30, about 36 inches long, longest one. Um, and then we have some leather leaf fern, uh, which makes a great kind of backdrop. Uh, I'm going to start with two of these. Um, kind of like that just line them up and then we got some ruscus uh, which is a awesome evergreen um, we'll do this one so let's point y'all down some there we go sorry about that I move y'all closer okay so we got leatherly fern ruscus uh, get some baby's breath just for some background uh, color um, and it gives you the little pops of white let's see let's see we'll do so I have some larkspur larkspur a uh, nice little spiky plant uh, the tip is broken out of this one so I'll remove that um, and here's another one so we'll do that. So it gives you a nice little uh, bouquet to kind of work with. Get some of the spikes in here. I'm trying to make it so it's kind of like a dome shape up at the top. Um, there we go. Okay, so that'll that'll kind of give you give me my background of of everything, and I'm gonna snip these off at the shortest piece. Uh, and then I'm going to lay in lilies. So I have, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do three whites. Um, and this is the stage that I actually like to harvest them at. Um, one, one bud is nice and plump, getting ready to open up. Uh, let's put this one in the center. And this one another one here and for this one I would normally I would normally either do a solid color or mix and match matching colors um, so this one uh, both of these are going to be um, either a nice beautiful red uh, or it's like a reddish burgundy um, and then this one as well uh, lay that in there so it's kind of like an like an arch and then trim off these lilies as well and there we go so let's move y'all up and that is a bouquet that I will be selling this weekend. Um, like I had said in other videos, that you you want to work with lilies that are still kind of closed. That way, uh, 
when they open up, you're not going to, or uh, w while they're transporting them, they're not going to snap any any uh, petals off of the off of the uh, flower itself. So that's uh, that's one bouquet. Let's grab a rubber band, and just like the other ones before. Slide it over a couple stems. And then wrap. And just like that. So, uh, and now I want to put it in a sleeve. I got some fox gloves. My fox gloves started blooming. Um, and I took a couple spikes. I don't know what I'm going to do with that one yet. But we'll do a sleeve. I'm just kind of bringing it down far enough to kind of protect the the lilies. And there you go. So I'll set this inside the bucket and uh, let uh, let people choose from from the bouquets. Um, but I really like those. Uh, I'd probably, I'd probably sell these probably about, twenty-five to thirty dollars. I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, I need to, I need to break down the cost of the fillers because I did have to buy the, the filler, some of the fillers in. Um, but like, I got that one, which kind of matches this one as well. No spikes though. Um, that just kind of gives it a little extra string or a different texture to uh to the bouquet and they can literally drop them in a vase and it'll it'll open on up and have plenty of room for the lilies to open up and everything uh here's another here's another red one red and white one this one is orange and purple uh that's a good combination and here's uh white and pinks And this one, this one's the special one. So uh, the little girl who, uh, my friend's niece who is doing the um, dance recital, uh, she likes pink, so she gets pink. And that's, that's the one for her. I did buy in some carnations um, just because I needed a, a type of secondary filler flower um, to kind of break it up with the, with the lilies, but you see this one here, it's already opened up some, um, but uh, it's it's protected by the sleeve itself. So that'll work. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna drop these guys. These are, these are kind of my extra buckets. Um, this one here, look how awesome white that, uh, that one is. I really like that one. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I got seven of them made up, um, we'll see, uh, I hope they do well, uh, this week I also got, I got hired to do some bouquets, um, and boutonnieres for a wedding. So that's going to be interesting. And the bride wants this dark purple lily, uh, white, and then this one right here, um, with the speckles in it. So it'll be kind of like a mixture of all, all purples and creams and whites and everything like that. So yeah, 
Uh, this one obviously won't be used in the arrangement just because it's too far open, but. Let's stick these guys in here. Pull off. There's pollen pods or the stamens. No, pistols. Yeah, whatever. Uh, anyway. Yeah, so these beautiful, beautiful bouquets. Um, we'll stick them in a bucket. Actually, let me put some water in the bucket. But uh, anyway, uh, if y'all have any questions, feel free to ask, and I'll talk to y'all later. Take care. Bye.